Because we can. Because we can. Because we can. All right. So, last time, you guys were making your way to Neverwinter. You actually uh, started your, your journey, made like the last <laughs> preparation uh, and everything. Uh, on the way there, you had some discussion with Sil Sildor and uh, uh, Darren uh, about what was what you guys were actually doing, what was happening, and uh, uh, there's some good information that uh, came out of the discussion, uh, kind of uh, like putting putting some stuff together, um, and then you met. A guy on the street uh, that was a seemingly a merchant uh, that you kind of stopped and talked a bit. Uh, he was talking about the princess fart in the box. Uh, it picked your uh, curiosity. Uh, a, a lot of rambling, rambling came out of it uh, with Zook trying to steal uh, some more stuff from the back of the cart. Uh, the guy no noticing guards jumping into the whole mess. It was kind of safe with quick thinking of uh, Tamara and Memory Stack on uh, trying to deceive the guards that this was uh, some in invis invisible like arm that was happening and uh, putting people unconscious. Uh, so you were able to <laughs> leave with both the magical item the guards uh trusting you and uh, making their way with the merchant that was still unconscious i think um and yeah we don't know what's gonna happen with 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 this with the martian that uh is gonna wake up at some point uh and then you uh finally arrived at the door of never, never winter with your card your two new uh magical object that you took some time to uh investigate uh one was revealed as being um a waystone uh orb of direction yeah orb. orb of direction exactly the other one was opened by who oh. opened it i think it was me if i'm not wrong yeah so the the box was open, releasing a gas cloud that everybody was caught in, uh, trying to uh, like find your breaths, uh, getting out of the cloud. It was eventually dissipated, uh, but you um, you learned that the box was actually able to produce that kind of a fog. So you guys are almost at the door of Neverwinter. Um, what do you want to do? You're... What you see right now is uh, pretty much a, a stone wall with a huge door that is open. There are not too many, too much traffics, and uh, like there are guards posted at the entrance. Can I uh, knock, knock on Neverwinter's door? Knock, knock on Neverwinter's door. So, all right, that was a good session, everyone. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you, people. Yeah. Uh, good night. Good night <laughs> <laughs> Next time, it might be Neverwinter. We don't know. <laughs> the town might be burned down. Yeah, good, good <laughs> time. Good time. <laughs> well, I mean, you can definitely go knock of the open door on the open door, but you're just gonna look like a dumbass. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Run is the word so you're the looking. Elves for. Should not. <laughs> the door is open. So as as you make your um your way like close to the door, approaching with your cart, uh, one guards just like raise their hand. Hey there. State your purpose. I don't actually. I I don't actually know. I'm. What? 
trying to remember what we did, said last session about where we were going. We came with yeah, people. Same thing. I know I asked the question, but I we, don't remember. At, at the end of it, we came we came to the conclusion that there had to be some kind of information about the is it a spider or the black hand or something like that spider, uh, right? There, there's a maybe some sort of slave market in Neverwinter that we could find some clues about the the black spider. Well, I guess answering we're gonna free the slave is not a good answer for the no. guard. Um, How about not stealing magical items? Could that be a good I, answer? I, I can weigh in. Uh, we're are you, we're are actually you telling that? <laughs> not this not this time. We're actually uh, we're here on uh, recruitment business with uh, Sildor from the Lord's Alliance. So the Lord, you want to weigh in? I just need a, a name and purpose. Well, I can get my my name. My name is Sematun, and uh, I'm I'm here on the Kalimbol, Kalimbor's church um, business. I need to report back to my church about uh, a shrine that was purified. Envoy of, Envoy of Kyrimber. All right. Is that the same thing for everyone, or? Well, they're my friends. Hey. All right. Can I get your names? Tamara. Zook. Tamara. Where is Zook. he noting that name? Yeah. Uh, just a, a piece of parchment. I'm Fern. And for me, I'm Case Cade Tuscable. All right. Thank you. You can all move on. And uh, he just like make a, a sign of his hand, and uh, we're moving you're free on. To enter. Did he did did he take the name of uh, Sildor and Darren also? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Talk, Just wanted to make sure he didn't miss anybody. Right. <laughs> um, so, just a as a reminder, I, you, so there's the recruitment. There's a uh, Darren that you mentioned. You you might want to make the journey to see his friend because mm -hmm. he might have information on uh, the location for uh, the Wavico Cave. Yeah. I knew there was something up with Darren also. But his friend is uh, at Thunder Tree, as I remember. Or something like that. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. It is <coughs> Thunder Tree, yeah. Didn't All we have right. someone with us? Yeah, Darren and Sildor. Okay. Just checking. Did they give their name at the door? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I missed that part. <laughs> what? Alex just said it. All right. So uh, I was, I was reading me. notes. My bad. <laughs> what did you say, Tamara? So, Darren is going to Thunder Tree. Uh, I understand. Um, so, D Darren is going to uh, respond to you. Um, hey, uh, I thought I was going to stick with you guys. If you want to come with me, um, you say it wouldn't be too long in Never, never Winter. Um, so I'm going to stick with you guys and then we can move to my friend. Like, he's, he's been there for a long time. One day or two, it's not going to make a difference if I don't show up. So uh, I can stick around if it doesn't. Uh, bother you guys. Oh, it's fine. The more the merrier. Okay. Uh, as of now, it's been very interesting sticking with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. just as a fair warning, we've been known to kill a lot of uh, our the people we meet. So, just remember that if something, someone do, is doing something harsh, it's not from the whole group. 
Yeah. Weren't How we many like... companions have you killed? Weren't we 10 oh, when we started? Never said companions. I think we were at least 10. Yeah, no, we and killed a we're... necromancer. Uh, a guy got killed. Uh, it, we tried to protect him, but he just got killed by a by a chain changer of forms. Yeah, but that wasn't mm. our fault. No, we that tried. wasn't our fault. We really tried to help him, you know? I just want to warn you that people die around us a lot, you know? I, th I might think that it's... I don't know. I used to think that it was my god punishing me, but... Then I thought it was my god sending people to me to die. I don't know. Just people die here a lot, you know. He just said, he just said, i trying to scare you, Darren. So. No, don't take it personally if you die. Just. <laughs> I've got we my. really like you. I've got my fair share of adventuring. I know it goes. I'll okay. stay out of trouble. Oh, you're not uh, a noob then. It's okay. Okay. That's reassuring. You, you can defend yourself. I mean, it's been a long time since I've killed you anything. It's but... been a while. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say get laid, but sure. Works also. <laughs> Isn't that you, though? <laughs> it's been okay, a while. We tried actually. to help you get laid, eh? Yeah. We're the best wingmans. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> So as you enter the city, like a lot of you guys have already been in the city. Uh, I don't know for Zook, but everyone else except maybe, no, even Kate, everyone has been in this, in Tamara, right? Zook and Tamara, I'm not sure, but everybody else started their journey in the city. Um, been to a city. Oh, I've you've never, never been, been to, to a city. city. No, that's going to be a huge experience for Zook. <laughs> So for those that like know the city, you enter, it's a familiar site and like, it's a lot of, it, it's pretty flat, except like you can see in the distance, uh, a, a bigger castle and some towers, but otherwise it's like a, a, a long street that goes to a, like a, a, a center, uh, town square and like smaller street everywhere, a lot of buildings. A lot of scent that like aggress you. Uh, some good, some a lot of bads, and uh, yeah, there, there's it's bustling, it's rustling. Like uh, there's a lot of people, a chariot uh, walking around. Uh, there's big goods. There's like uh, stands to buy fruits, to buy meat. Like it's it's very alive, I would say. This is great. That's different from Fendelin. Is Zook freaking out? I'm not talking, I'm just watching around right now. Can I roll a perception check in him? <laughs> you can roll an insight. Insight check. Oh, insight check? He's fine. Okay. Uh, 1921. Oh, I, rolled, I rolled a four. He's fine. I'll tell, you, uh, you'll, I'll tell you everything. He's got everything under control. <laughs> well, Zook, you can you can do a, a deception or no, persuasion no, thing. No, I'm, I'm not. Or... I'm not trying to hide anything right now. Zook is, so, is not freaking out, but he's he's curious. tense. He's tense. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a lot of new things to right. steal. Uh, he's you're, he's, you're he's, he's mostly he's uh, mostly. Uh, you know, handling thing internally so for now. But yeah, yeah, new new things, a lot of new things. Staying close to Fern. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's but, like a there's like a a woman that goes uh, very because you guys are kind of in the middle of the street, just like taking in the city. There's a woman that just like goes very uh, fast, like bumps into Fern, toward. <laughs> Watch out where you're going, you freak! And like keeps on going. All right, I'm and gonna I'm cast gonna fireball. Make, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You should have breathed, breathe zoom before entering this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stand close to Fern right now. 
I'm gonna make a perception check to know if she stole something from me. Because I know the city. I'm gonna stay Go close to Zook because I know he never been in a city like me, so I'm going to stay close to him. Like It wasn't Zook, it was uh, Fern that you got bumped into. Oh, Fern. I'll scratch my package. It's a it's seven, itchy. so... Mm. It's a bit warmer in the that? city. He was Sorry a seven. For... A seven? Uh... No ill intent that you can pick up. All right, let's let's find a place to stay. Uh, do you have any uh, connection? Do you have any uh, any place you would prefer? Cell door, maybe. Uh, we can we can go to the uh, like the headquarters of the Lord's Alliance, but I don't think they're gonna let everyone in, like, just to get free quarters and uh, sleep there. We should probably find a... Um, find an inn or something. Well, I have we... some that Th I have been to. Not the best, but I have one that is all the Busy Castle Tavern. Don't know if you've heard of that one. Have They're I all heard? pretty. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> They're all pretty standard. I heard of one. I'm not sure exactly where it is that we would have to ask around. It's called the Natural Llama. All right. Wait, yeah, you. I've I've heard of the natural what? llama too. Okay. That's uh, a terrible name. It's soft. That's the old goat cool. tavern too. Yeah, old it goat. sounds like an old EP place. <laughs> yeah. Like where it's people the best. get around nude, you know, without clothes. I'm not a. I'm not a. Uh, how do you say that? I'm not a. Oh, damn it. No, I'm not a uh, someone that you goes there often. Me. I'm not a uh, um, regular. 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 Horny no. dude. Horny no. dude. Pervert. <laughs> Naturalist? You like getting the flag out? Waving it around? No. But I'm saying I'm, I, I don't go there often. Uh, oh. If they do that kind of stuff, it's probably for like people that goes there often that knows like the password or some shit like i don't think it would be done in the open what was the other one the the goat one i mean the goat is technically better than llama at least they don't spit i think it's called the old goat tavern i think the llama type fluffier yeah mm. And like I said, I don't know where it is, though. Do you know where the goat one is? No, I only know... Well, yeah, I think I could get to the goat one. But the one I use to go more often is the busy castle. But you guys have been here. Yeah, I know I'm trying to remember, but it won't let me remember, so... If it we're trying work. to get... If we're trying to get information on the slavers, we might want the the sleaziest, most degenerate tavern we can, or in. Uh, yeah, but normally when you want to sleep, you you actually want to sleep safe and sound. You can save the the rougher corners of town for like other moments that you're not sleeping. I mean, we can kill anyone that jumps us. That's been. We're a fine group. You but try to do not kill anyone. We're in the big city. Just we don't when do we it. put. No, right. I get that. I get that. Okay. Right, right, Are you right. sure? So there's a kind of a ground rule in cities. You don't try to go burning stuff. I I said if someone tried to jump us where we sleep, 
we should be fine. I agree. I'm not saying I'm not saying we should upright just kill someone. I'm telling you guys that if we sleep in a, a dangerous inn with the group, we should be fine. Hell, me alone, I should be good. All we need is a guard, and then we wake up, and then we're good. Anyway, anywhere well, we sleep, the trouble finds us. So yeah, uh, that's it. And you've that's been quite way. well known to sleep really, really hard. <laughs> yep. And not wake up, you know. I did say that, but I meant, you know, everyone that can see in the dark will be useful. Yeah, you can see in the dark. Yeah, that's it. Me too. I can see in the dark with Kate and his lantern. Mm -hmm. I can see Magic. invisible stuff Magic. too. Magical lantern. Come on. Magical lantern. Problem solved. All right, that's all I'm saying. That's my, okay. my own uh, name, but... We, Lama we... in, it is. Lama? We, we don't, don't know, know where Lama is. is. Well, Seldor, no. Not no, even he doesn't. doesn't know what a Lama is. Sounds like an animal. Maybe. But you said that all those in were pretty can bad. I, can, I, can, I, can I make a history check if I know what is a llama? Isn't that an animal? Uh, an yeah. Animal yeah. and ling, maybe? Nature? <laughs> Na nature. Nature. Yeah. nature, okay. Yeah, wouldn't Ooh, I know a llama? Natural 20. <laughs> oh, oh, we're good. <laughs> wouldn't I know it? Do I know a llama friend? <laughs> I have no idea well, what a llama is. Tamara, you... Total, total 21. You've dreamed of Llama multiple times. You know exactly what it is. <laughs> You've dreamed of Llama. <laughs> <laughs> I dream always with Llamas. It's I like your... It's like your totem animal. <laughs> it's not, not in the book or nothing. I she never dreamed told you about these guys, it. but that's my totem animal. <laughs> It's a sign. We should we should go to the llama. Yeah, now it's Wow, we can we can ask around. My back story. Do do I see any guards? Uh we could talk to? Make a perception check. Two guards answer those questions. Yo. Uh I've played uh, World of Warcraft. Guards tells you where things are in town. Yeah, That's they good. do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my reference. Zog, zog. Uh, okay, uh, he said perception. <clears throat> Thirteen. Um, well, looking around, like, you're still kind of not too far from the entrance. There is, uh, like, a couple of guards uh, posted at the entrance. Um, apart from that, you would have probably to walk uh, all the way to the more central area. Mm. To find more let's walk to the more uh, central area and uh, we'll, we'll ask around on your way there like like i said there is like stand of uh merchant uh, a bit like everywhere uh there's people in the street like there's um a lot of people do we uh do we try to spend a couple of coins Get some uh, interesting gear or anything. Are we riding around in town in the... Oh, we have our cart. In the cart, yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. Is there parking somewhere for the cart? I forgot uh, the cart. I completely forgot the cart. Yeah, I forgot the cart too. Maybe we can find first the inn, and then we can go out with it. And like just how... let it. Like, like I said, like the the um, there are some merchant like food and stuff like that outside. Like even though you're walking with your cart, you you already stop another cart in the middle of the street to do some shopping. So you can definitely like uh, stop by a stand, ask a question, pick some meat and just move along what time of day is it if you want to uh i would say it would 
it stretched like five six uh in the afternoon so it's the end of the day so it's yeah, a perfect guys... time to grab some street meat absolutely nice i'm gonna go grab some street meat <laughs> good grab uh, some. You, look, you look around there uh, like there's multiple things like, there's people making like sandwich there is like skewers there's uh skewers. dried meat all right so you walk to a small uh, barbecue stand. There's like meat drying on some rack, and he has a barbecue. He's flipping some skewer. Hey, what do you want? How many? I'll take um, four skewers for me, and one for the small guy. So five. Yeah. It's three copper each. Fifteen copper, please. I'll give him twenty copper. Thanks for the tip. Here's your skewers. Nice. I'll hand one to Zook, and I'll keep the four of those. Did you want to ask any question? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much the whole point. <laughs> No, I just wanted some street meat. Wait a minute. I didn't want to ask. Back, come back to the <laughs> cart. We come back to the cart. Come we on. Got, like, it's almost so... supper time. I was hungry. <laughs> Where's There's the end? I don't know. I got I got my meat. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Look, guys, I got meat. What about the end? I was what hungry. about it? I got food. Come on. Come on, really? Sure. <laughs> And I'll hate my skewers. I think I think I take Fern, go back to the to the Meat Palace. Meat meat thing. And I say to him like, Hey, he needs some information. I push him. You push me? You liked it? You want more? Yeah, we 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 have some questions too. Like we are new in town, so we need some information. Buy me skewers, I can answer some questions. Yeah, I'll right take there. one more. Yeah, yeah, I'll. T it's fine. I'll take one more. Okay. We want. We want to know where is the closest end. All, all, all good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the big guy likes it. You want more? You can pay for yeah, I'll, I'll go hard. And what did you say, small one? I'll, I'll take I, I'll, I'll take one. I want to know where is the closest end. Yeah, you don't need an end. My food is perfect. But yeah, if you, yeah, if ahead. you want, I think the round jellyfish is just around the corner. You take like the fifth one. On the right, you should see it. It opens on on the square. Can't miss it. All right, jellyfish, it is. I'm gonna give him five buck, five copper. Takes it, gives you another skewer. Thanks. I'll Did give you... him it's one silver piece for my three other skewers. Oh, you you picked up three more. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's what you were doing like this. Yeah, with a mouthful, so it was kind of hard to understand. <laughs> All right. What? What? It? What is it with this town and naming the inns after freaking animals? We have the round jellyfish, the sleepy goat, and the cuddly llama, and the <laughs> the busy bee something of Sildor. I think it's the kind of meat they sell. Oh, damn, that's a good idea. Maybe they are hunters. That's bad. I don't want to go to the jellyfish. No, I wouldn't taste a llama. What are you talking about? We don't know I what a llama is. Well, but the seafood. jellyfish sounds near. We can <coughs> just go. Hey, how about the one closest to my the Church of Colombo? You know, I'm following you, but I could just go to sleep hmm. in my church. Which one is it? It's Kelimvor's temple. 
I just don't know which you end is the closest. Go there and sleep there? Mr. DM, am I familiar with the closest end? Why, it's probably going to be something like in. this spiky porcupine or <laughs> the snaky snake in the slithering snake, <laughs> slithering guys, snake. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> make a history check. Mary Poppin dropped in here in <laughs> or survival. We're not selling slave dog in. That could be a good one. So I wouldn't know the nearest inn from my church. Can I have an advantage for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are a pirate. So it's... It's either what or what? Uh, rival or history. Okay, so I got 16. Mm. That's 16 not bad um well most of your time like when you were uh like when you had to go to the church or you spent them time there you would stay there so you didn't really look out too much for for inns uh you know a couple uh, of bars around uh you're not too sure if they offer lodging but um i mean oh that's it's, right I would it's know of a, taverns, not inns, right? Right. <laughs> uh, but taverns, taverns, you you do know. Uh, I'm and... gonna lead them to a tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming so, they also lodge people, because I don't know, I'll only cared about the beer. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, your favorite, your favorite one is uh, the Drunken Tower Bar, uh, and it's close to your uh, your church. But like your church is probably um, like forty-five minutes walk in the city, um, so on the way there, like you're bound to see like a lot of bars and inns and stuff like that because they usually are on like the main streets or the main squares, uh, just by. Okay, so it's kind of a street where there's a lot of them. No, just in general, like just walking in the city. Uh, if you have yeah. to do a, a long walk like that, like it's impossible to not see at least one in on on the way there, mm -hmm. especially taking like the the main streets because that's where they stand because that's where they get visibility and unless you want to go for shady ones, somewhere around those Which... ends should be fine. Yeah, I don't want to be seen in a shady end. This is my town see so it's um, all yours all of this always has been if i said yes you would really believe me yeah i mean i'm gonna roll I for it where you come from zoo yeah i live in cave is this whole city yours i'm gonna roll inside just to see if i'm dumb <laughs> inside <laughs> you're inciting yourself no, I'm inciting you. I'm trying to like Z joking. But I'm not trying to lie. Oh no, it's, well. It's, it's, yeah, I maybe. mean, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna roll. I'm not. I don't. I'm not, I'm not even trying. Yeah, to. the soul city's yours. That's a big old two. So I'm gonna believe you. Started from now. And I'm gonna believe you on that city. You're gonna. You're gonna have to watch what you say around me, man. Everything's yours. Maybe our, just, just do a straight charge. intelligence check, maybe. <laughs> also. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I, I, I take, I. Mm. Yeah, okay. that's six. So do you still own it? Like, did that meat guy we bought meat from? Is that an employee? How's, how's that work? I love it like I own it. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. I <laughs> bet. I am gonna say an awe and uh, let you guys do your stuff. So you you take you take good care of it, all right? No uh, no spells or attacking people in the street, or even if they do things you don't like, right? What what was the tavern called again? Or or in? Did you tell us? Nah, it's just a random street. Oh, it's uh, 
The something, Drunk something. Tower Bar. The Drunk Tower Bar. But I don't know if they offer lodging. I just know that on the way to the church, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, inns and taverns and whatnot. All right, so that take us to church. You don't sing that one? <laughs> yeah, you're not singing take that us one? church. <laughs> I'll <laughs> worship God and more at the shrine of them winter. Good session. Wow. Good job. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to take uh, uh, next level. I'm taking one point in Bard, please. Nope. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to use my Vedo on this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. I'm becoming the Bard then. Cool. Actually, I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm just having... But you've, you've been a Bard on, on uh, Fromage shit. <laughs> fromage shit. <laughs> on what? Joueur sans fromage. You've been a bard on that yes. one. Yes, I have been a bard. If... All right. So you guys, um, yeah, you you just started walking or being in cart uh, around the city, taking the main street. Uh, is there anything you want to keep a lookout for? Uh... Oh. Except Inns. in uh, any, I would say any type of armory or blacksmith or any place we could buy some gear, basically. I would like to keep a watch if we see copper. But that's for real. <laughs> Is he still following us? Where's Copper? We, we don't know. Maybe we find him and her. He left with a fortune, you bastard. Yo, maybe someone's setting him. To, I don't know. Maybe. Is there a goblin uh, slave market? Slave whoever market. wants to look at stuff, you can make a perception check. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. It's a perception. 16. I got six. I got seven. I haven't had that for a while. The only copper you can see is the one in your pouch. <laughs> well, definitely no copper inside. Oh. Um, you... Oh, oh, wait, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? I rolled what? as well. Of course. And I got, uh, and I got a natural 20. Try, try, natural 20. A natural 20 for a total of 25. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. Still no uh, copper in sight. <laughs> but you, you can't. You, you, you're really like, rolling for that. <laughs> You are, you are picking up like a lot of coppers. Like people are ex <laughs> exchanging goods in the street. They are paying in coppers. You spot every single one of them. <laughs> like you, you spot how many there is, how many coppers there is in like the the the, the minstrel's purse, and like every copper that you can see, you 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 see it. Um, but no I green we were copper. Looking for copper. <laughs> Yeah, no green copper. It's um, also shiny. So, just like the the, the first street uh, on your way there, uh, you you pass close by to uh, the round jellyfish 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 that uh, <laughs> jelly the merchant talked That's about. It's a different <laughs> different type of in. <laughs> <laughs> and like on. Uh, on the, the 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 sign it, underneath the name, it's like a marvelous like seafood, and you just pass by it, and you have this smell of like fish, but like not fresh fish. Um, and that's just, mm -hmm. yep, just just one uh, of the in that you see. Uh, you can you continue your uh 
route to the church. By the and, gods. Um, <clears throat> when you you spot a couple of uh, places, um, nameless, but like forged, uh, like blacksmith on the street with their anvil, uh, like just p passing by some. Uh, like on the main street, you can see like a uh, smaller street that have like blacksmith. They are working. Uh, you can hear it. Um, you also see a couple of inn. Um, you pass by uh, the busy castle tavern, uh, which is a, an inn. Um, and yeah, you pretty much have the choice. On the way there, I don't know if it, you were just going to do like reconnaissance, or you wanted to stop on the way, or you go all, all the way there and uh, make your choice afterward. Uh, no, actually, I would head up more like of a quick look at uh, like what they have to offer. If something catches my eye, I would actually look a little bit more closely but if it's just like normal stuff nothing out of the ordinary right um yeah yeah like you you kind of know your way around the city so you're able to just like uh take a note in your mind yeah there's one there there's one there this one seems fat this one seems energetic <laughs> Or like you can kind of spot uh, a good one if you uh, want to stop by. Uh, there is also like uh, not just blacksmith, but like shops that uh, have like a display, and uh, you can enter, and they seem to have weapons and armor. Um, the inn, like there's some that looks uh, not like too great that like uh, it seems to be dirty there's people that are drunk like sitting on the the porch uh there are others uh, like the busy castle tavern that is uh more clean like bright windows there's light in it uh there's chatter some music coming in uh it seem, seems nice all right there is there is something that I can catch if there is uh, some weird movements like some someone like dealing or uh, you know like I'm trying to find the the crime here in this in this alley. <laughs> You're trying to find a yeah like if there is uh, some weird, weird activity movement. yeah like bands or something yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Here comes the vendetta. Mm. <laughs> okay. Ten in total. Ten? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a long route, um, and there's a lot of people. You can keep an eye open, um, you see shady people like in any town there's some hooded figures walking through the crowd um you even like you, you don't spot anyone actually doing any crime uh but yeah there's more shady people that you can spot but not much more than that okay all right um i'm gonna keep in mind like the best looking armor smith, blacksmith, whatever it is. And I'll come back later. I want to do the same if there is anything I see for uh, regions for magic. Mm. If we see anything, just note it. Yeah. Well, I mean, with Fern's perception, um, unless you want to make a roll for it. Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll make my own roll. Good. 
That is 13. Okay. Um, no magic shop per se. There are like libraries or like bookstores that you can spot that might be interesting. Um, but yeah, nothing else that catches your attention on, on the way to right. the church. Nothing church else. that you are now arriving. I need to put my kids to bed. Uh, you okay. can you have go, kids? Go, you can go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll just, just join back. You can keep playing All if right. you want. Sounds good. I'm going to go shopping. Yeah, we can go <laughs> shopping right now. I feel like now is a good, a good moment. Shopping. Okay. Yeah, Simat doesn't seem to know. We're, we're going to let him like a couple of minutes to find out where he is, where he's going. He seems a bit lost, so just to gather his thoughts and we're gonna go shopping. He's trying to find the church. Mm. He doesn't remember. Was it the left or was it the right? Mm. <laughs> eh. Eh. Let's go left. So while you're like, going in circle a bit, uh, what do you want to look for? Are you looking for, like for a blacksmith to actually like have something being made? Or you're looking more for a shop? Or you can buy stuff. A shop, I think. Mm. Are you Precisely looking to have I'm... something custom? Is what I'm looking saying. for is I don't even know if it exists. It's uh, something to replace my chain mail. But okay. let's say the equivalent, but it doesn't give. Uh, me disadvantage on stealth, so I don't even know if it exists. What? I think it's studded letter. I would like to find something like where I can buy uh, an armor because I don't have. Um, Maybe a light armor. So we're basically, we're looking for an armor smith. Yeah. Because we're basically looking for uh, want to Google stuff. Yeah, I don't want books. I'm gonna look because. Um... I think the best you can get without stealth disadvantage is the breastplate. The breastplate? Oh, yep. okay. I see it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, you can try your luck uh, at a shop, but if they don't have it, you might have to make have it made. All right. For your dimensions. Okay. Fern already. Fern already find some some armor, something. Um. Well, I'm going if if Fern find like a like a someone like can make uh, armor or something, I'm going with him. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 saw uh, like a shop of like um, metal attire, like armors and weapons and stuff like that. So if you guys yeah, just want to picture. try it, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna fall in the shop. It's it's really like um like <clears throat> wooden door kind of uh, in between like um uh like bay window with like stuff and you look into it there's like canteens there's like leather uh there's like quivers and arrows and like uh swords and all sort of stuff in kind of the bay window um and you make your way inside and like it's just 
a lot of uh, a lot of equipment a bit everywhere in the store. Um, this the stuff that seems more expensive, you can see it behind the the counter. At the counter, there's uh, just a, an old man uh, looking over like some books and mm -hmm. kind of counting some coins. All right. Hey there. May I help you? Yes. Good. E Good evening, sir. Good evening. You you don't. Have You're to... like. You look like a, a big, strong guy. Yeah, I've been told that many times before, but thank you for noticing. What? Fix, may fix. I be of service? <laughs> um, you don't happen to have any type of heavy armor in stock, or are you taking orders in? Or maybe something like for a hunter? Maybe. Or something magical? Not everyone at the same time, please. Um, I I do have some armor. If you want to come in the back, I have some uh, models that I can show. Uh, we have metal and leather. I don't know if the size is going to fit. Uh, the elf might have more success than... You big guy, <clears throat> but we have really great axe. Axe is great, but yeah, we can we can go check it out. Yeah. You make your way through the back, like it's um. Yeah, it's just like you squeeze through the door. Yeah, kind of, and there's a a, a bit bead kind of a. a Dre oh, wow. It's a real shop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, what's what's the smell in the back? Is, does it's it like, like are are they burning some uh, incense or something? There's incense, but all at the same time there's like dust, like old uh rugs kind of smell. Nice. It's um yeah it's high it's quality uh, gears that yeah yeah. So there is a couple of Armin's armor stand. Uh, there is a, like uh, a couple of chain mails, studded leather, uh, a breastplate, shield. Does it have a splint armor? A what? A splint armor. I, I've Googled is what type splint? of armor there is. <laughs> What's a splint, splint armor? It's, it, it's like the step above yeah. chainmail. You have chainmail, you have the splint armor above. Oh, splint. Yeah. Splint armor. It's still disadvantaged, though. I, I have know. no idea. What, what I know, but if, like if I drop with, uh, like, without the disadvantage, I kind of drop a lot in AC. It's at right. least two points if I go for it. Oh, it, are, mm. they, are those, like, kind of a small... Um, I don't know. That's the scale now. I have no idea where that's clean. It's a. Uh, it's like a lateral, no rectangular metal shape. Oh, and there's all like over the, the body. It's like the scale, but the it's it's not. It's larger. It's not scale well. shape. Yeah, it's larger and it's uh, it's you know it's bigger and that's the whole armor is covered with it. Gives you flexibility and stuff. No, unfortunately, I don't think we have that kind of armor. Bumpkiss. While they are they're chatting and everything, I want to cast the tech magic if anything pings in that shop. Sure. Uh, you cast the tech magic. Um, apart from what you guys are like on yourself, mm -hmm. you're not picking anything in this shop that is magical. All right, I'm going to wait for them at the door. <laughs> Sir, I, I want to ask, there is some breastplate that i can maybe yeah learn. yes we have we have this one and he shows you uh like it, it looks fine it, it's not rusted um all the parts are there uh and yeah it looks a bit dusty but still okay i have this one i don't know if you want to try it on I try it on. All right. 
Uh, oops. Makes. Poof. Give me. A, I'm being calm. You know. Yeah, it's fine. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. We can take five. So is he Hello. um, is he also a a Hello? leather worker? You think uh, he is? It, it seems more like a shop than an actual armor smith. From what I pick off. Fern, did you like me uh, riding on your shoulder and fighting stuff? Are you asking for a piggyback ride? I'm asking if we find a letter worker. I'm wondering if Zook's not going to pay the letter worker to make it like a, a small saddle or something I could attach myself to <laughs> and be more secure. So I'm you're just asking. Suggesting that he can make a little. Yeah. No, well, I mean Lush. baby strap. That's on the front. Yeah. I'm baby thinking strap. something different. Baby but strap. uh, but right. sure, why not? You'd become unstoppable. You know what? Right. I'm going to help you to find that. See, Tamara's down, but I need I need to know if Fern is in, because I I'm not trying to jeopardize the relationship Zook has with Fern. Mm. For a new one to become an unbeatable tank. <laughs> What's going like on? Theme from <laughs> What's we have going plans. On? We have plans. The question yeah. is how much wow. Fern can wear a small person? Like, I mean, you can. Yeah, you oh, can. trust me. Yeah. I, I'm oh, a yeah, guy. I, I can actually carry like a shit ton yeah. of stuff. Yeah, you can carry yeah. a shit ton, you and I'm not a shit ton. I don't remember I'm... what it's like. Yo, I want a place too. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna become a one man army. Yeah, so all, um, all I'm asking right now is, is am, I, am I making that purchase or not? I've I've actually wait, out of character, I've rolled to actually kind of make up my mind, decision ish. I rolled a natural twenty. That mean you're so all I in? think that's actually that's kind of a sign if it's something. It's uh, I mean it has to happen, right? Well, it. I mean, if uh, the same thing happened when we were both running around in the forest, uh, you were kind of yeah. leading me because I was basically blind. Uh, yeah, I mean, but and I want, when you walk, it's so hard for me to keep up. Mm -mm. I mean, All right. Dungeon Master. <laughs> you guys do your shopping, and uh, we're going to have a, a stop to do before we go okay. to church. They just needed. just saying, you, your Detect Magic is probably up for 10 minutes. It's 30 minutes, actually. It's 30? Uh, is it not 30? I don't know. Oh, it's 30 feet, it's 10 minutes, you're right. Which I'm, which means you're probably going to ping a couple things along the way-ish. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are done. Well, but, uh, sir, um, I don't think... Uh, I was looking for something a little bit more than what I'm actually wearing right now. And you don't have that in stock, so. And I, I don't think I fit in your wares, so. Thank you for your we, time, and I'm. We can put you uh, an order in. in. Oh, are you are you making a uh, split mail? Uh, no, wait, split splints. And. I like that Tamara is trying to buy in the back, and she's like, "Well, I could <laughs> use some boots." I... Okay, we're done for today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm sure it could be arranged. I have some uh, art, I have some craftsmen that I can contract to make some like custom work. I don't care how what is he buying. I'm going to take this breastplate. I'm cleaning it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll I'll th I'll sleep. It on does it. look really good on you. Thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll sleep is. on it. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna wait for you outside. Thank you, sir. Have a I'm follow him. great evening. It is three hundred gold piece. Three hundred gold piece, sir. Nani? Have so much money. Nani? What? Oh no! Actually, it's not that bad. Or breastplate. Well, how is a splint like cheaper? Yeah. 
that's the... Well, I have six that is... Nope, that's not going to be. How about... 100? It's the only thing I have. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay, perception, persuasion. Mm, ten. Did the guy hey, sell anything magical? Wait. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I, I'm sorry, but with that amount, I'm not even covering the mature materials well you have something around 100 that i can buy oh we have a lot of other stuff sure um well, i mean like pretty much every other armor in the, sh the shop is less than uh 100 it's just that this breastplate is really the jewel of the shop. Yeah, you it's think, is that magical? No, it's not. No, Zook, Zook already. Uh... Yeah, I checked. There is nothing. As you saying that, I had time to walk in the shop so tightly, <laughs> and I'm just there. And I'm like, so how much is this stud leather armor? Peekaboo. Uh, new guy. I mean. You are there. Yo, I, I'm with the group. I'm just browsing. Yeah. Uh, um, let me check. This one is 40 gold piece. 40? For the, the studded letter? Oh. Yeah. That's the price in the city. That's expensive. I can do 39. Sold! Yeah! I'm just watching this and it's like, uh. That's Sorry, Tamara, I was faster. And okay, I okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking in the breastplate I cannot buy. <laughs> do you do you want to me for. Do you want me to wrap it for you? Mm, no. I don't think I'm going to buy it, sir, but, uh... Wait, is that an upgrade to what you have? I don't have. I don't have armor. You don't <laughs> have armor? No, I don't have. Wait, what? Yeah. How are so... you dressed? With clothes? <laughs> what kind? In detail, please. Well, it's like a jacket and a chemise and... And oh, I hear like this, and... and you have no armor. Well, I'm is, is it's a hundred gold, sir. That's what you said. No, the breast, please. I think, well, maybe a leather armor. How about a leather armor for me? Wait, no, wait. How much was the breastplate? Oh, that was 300. 300. Yes. And you have nothing magical. No. Magical? Yeah. It's nothing. I, I pinged already. We don't have... We don't have anything like that here. Can you make custom command? You know, can you order magical items? Or where, do you, where, do you, where could we find one? Magical items? Um... Yeah, armor is in shit. You enchant them? Do you know someone to enchant them? There, There is a shop. Uh, they specialize in more magical stuff, but mostly only the guards go there. It's very overpriced compared to me. You should stick here. I have great swords and armor. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have dice. <laughs> Let me. Uh... D and D. No, uh, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> just kidding. Well, you know, if you say you're so important, you could, you could. 
um, for 200 gold, get our exclusive clientele. Like exclusive patron edge. Yeah, it's not far from my church, and uh, well, if there's if there's nothing else, I mean, if if you sell it, we could go to you. You know, that's my town here. Construct? Are we talking about <laughs> what? What what kind of contract are we talking about? Just if I'm gonna exclu cut our exclusive, you we would go to you if you sell it. We would you would get exclusive at least for me, exclusivity. You know, uh, armor uh, armor repairs maintenance. I wear a lot of that shit. So if I cut out, if I cut out a hundred gold of the price, you're never gonna buy piece of equipment elsewhere if you sell it and how am i gonna enforce that well you gotta trust us i mean don't you see my armor i'm from here i'm 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 actually a cleric i don't lie did you buy your armor there <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess so. I guess my <laughs> I guess. church provided it, and and because of the ornaments and everything, like the, it's like it's a, there's a symbol of Kelimbor on my armor, so maybe it was from him. <laughs> I don't know. It's near to the church. Well, you can it's look around. There. You can look around if there's any other armor like yours. <laughs> but no. Uh, it wasn't about there, but okay. there. Um, so right we now, would I'm, have... I'm putting and take it off oh the breastplate God. and take it back. <laughs> <laughs> there is something in leather. <laughs> what? Well, I have a leather armor I won't use anymore, but not sure it would fit you. Maybe hide the good bits. <laughs> Well, how about this? You knock off a hundred gold for this armor um, letter, and it's in exchange for the breastplate. Hundred is too much for a letter armor. I'm going to pay like ten. Yeah. And I got twelve others. in perception and uh, sorry, persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take it. All right, I'll pay you your letter. goddamn armor, and I pay, I pay the price of three hundred gold for her breastplate. What? How do you have triangle? Oh. I don't know. I have three triangle. That's all I have, though. <laughs> really? Like everything I got. Hey, that's a good guy right there. Well, we're uh, to we're all in this together. You're protecting me in a sense, so it's it's a win-win. We're all like one person here. Hey, yeah. don't you know about family? You selfless, selfless. Yeah, Two. I know about family. I have a brother. Yeah, uh, thanks. And then take it. Oh, okay. If you don't die, it's a better chance of survival for me. I'm not going to die. And, I'm and you need armor, for God's sake. That's Don't that's... ever leave this place without armor. Okay. You'll pay me back someday, I know it. That's a way I'm of making you uh, I'm not going dead. To do that for sure. So I take the rest plate and I give Semat 100 that I have. Nah, just pay me back sometime, some ways. Okay. Sure to do business with you. Yeah, and if I hear we've again. been screwed, I'm gonna come back. Oh no, it's really good quality. It's actually pretty cheap for that kind of work. It better be. Jesus Christ. I am uh, just, I'm a just cleric, do, and my crew as well. Do do as as player. Do we have access to like what's what as armor? I mean, uh, do we have like what is studded leather? What is uh, scale mail? Uh, 
the AC and the knowledge of what is all this or yeah as a player as a player from your from your background Fern, you would have a good idea okay so I would technically know that a light armor might be better for uh, Tamara technically depending on her well the bracelet is better don't, yep. Yeah. That but the thing is, wanna... let's say you buy studded leather. It has like a a min AC of twelve, plus your dex modifier. Mm -hmm. Compared oh. to the breastplate that has a fourteen plus dex modifier of a max of two. So depending on your dex modifier, the studded leather could be better than the breastplate. Oh. I buy her the armor she needs. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but right now, right now, I it's. The best place, I mean, that has been done, but for further references. But yeah, I guess we could retcon it if she doesn't yeah. need the breastplate, right? Maybe, maybe after I I sell it and I pay to Sima. But then that's all according to your dex modifier, which I don't yeah. know. And, uh, uh, my God, would you stop Googling stuff you want to build with leather? I'm, I'm working <laughs> on it, man. Just give me a sec. <laughs> I... Okay, the first two are a bit, oh, like, uh, a bit weird. But sure, second one is... Uh, the doable. second one works. Yeah. Oh, wait, but it, oh, I was seeing, and uh, I have a leather armor already. <laughs> Oops. See? We already have the material. <laughs> you have you have two now. You have Cade's old leather armor and Tamara's old leather armor. Yeah. All we need is a little yeah. worker. Do you want to put them the, the, in the, the bag? The that goes up, my, my AC is so much better. Okay, so the breastplate was actually an upgrade for you. Yeah, okay. but it was an, up an upgrade. Then your dexterity sucks. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No you, you can wear medium armor. You, you, you're not just light. Maybe. Well, she has a dex of five. Plus five. Oh, yeah. I have, she has no, I 17 have dex. dex. I, I have saving throws. I have normally plus three in dexterity. Yeah, that's high dex. 17 is high dex. But just with the leather armor, I have 14 in armor class. Right now I have 16. Uh, because of max plus two, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I have letter. Who wants letter? Uh you wanna put them in the bag of holding but or somebody else needs it. Yeah. Zook, do you need a, a little upgrade of armor? I'm good. He's good. I'm good. All I want Zook. is is the letter for a pet project. Wait, who's the uh, pet in so, that So we're good? <laughs> Samara, the, the armor is better? You sure? Yeah, it's better. I'm, I'm on it. Uh, before before we go out from the store, I uh, stop, I uh, stop Semat. Your AC is better, but do you get disadvantage on some roll? I didn't get yeah. disadvantage. No, with breastplate. Okay. No, no, okay. no, she doesn't. Breastplate but, is kind of good. Well, if I put the breastplate on my character, I get disadvantage on some roll. I don't. But, do you? Yeah, I'm it okay. depends on you your probably, proficiency. You, you probably, yeah, yeah, you probably yeah. don't have proficiency with it. Surely okay. you don't have proficiencies in medium armor, Kate. No. What's your dex modifier? My dex? Plus three. Oh, it's plus three. Okay, in that's dex? why. Yeah. Mm. And, okay. and I'm all right. Because the dex modifier doesn't change all that much. Because it, it doesn't take into account... Uh, a pro proficiency bonus, right? For the dex modifier? I think not. Because if you're proficient with dex, does it add the... Uh... I have proficiency in wisdom, intelligence, and strength, I think. You don't have proficiency in dex? No. What's yes. your core? Yes. What's yes. your core? In dex saving throw, you have proficiency. Oh, yeah, oh, and, dexterity, bro. Okay. and strength and dexterity. Yeah, you're right. 
There's no good way to scale dexterity. Yeah. Unless yeah, you get I... like a tattoo or something. Yeah. So yeah, I think the breastplate is probably better. Yeah. Alrighty then. Are I you, told you, uh, uh, breastplate. Agreeing is with the best. that, Samat? What? You said you weren't looking on your side. Yeah. Um. What's your? Oh, you have a bar. Okay. What's your uh? Subclass. <laughs> Did you oh write God. that? Or. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no. Uh, no, it's actually it's a thing. Shit. I mean, it, really it does says halfling. It doesn't say gnome. You no, do. it's, yeah. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Guys. I can give you, piggybacks to either Zook or Kate now. Nice. We just have to find a letter worker. Yeah, we need to find a letter worker. And we need the dungeon master to accept what, whatever shenanigans we're doing right now. <laughs> Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm all up for it. <laughs> nice. I'm not sure you know what you've created, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm go out from the store. All shiny. Uh, wearing shiny. Play. Oh, what's this? That's a breastplate. They say Don't worry about it. Is the best you could afford it anyway. You know what, Simat? I'm going to pray with you. Since oh. this day. In your church. That's so why nice. Why so let me know. Say... Are you asking Samak to take you to church? <laughs> so you'll pray to Kalimbor in yeah. the light of his faith thing. Yeah. Nice, okay. <laughs> no, no you'll see it's you'll you'll see it's easy. You just have to light candles and pray for the dead. You basically okay. pray for whoever is dead that you know of. That that is a lot, so it's quite easy for us. Okay, that is dead. that is weird because I'm a hunter, but okay. Peter. Yeah, but uh, you mean your brother's dead, so you can pray for him. He's not dead. He's still alive. Just have a weird thing. <laughs> That's what you think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you'll know soon. Or have I seen a leather worker on my little stroll around town? Uh. You weren't really paying attention for that, so mm. at this point, you are not sure. But uh, seeing all like you are pretty much in like the craftsman district at this point, uh, so look looking around shouldn't be too hard. We could ask the shopkeeper. We just spent three hundred gold. I mean, that's should be uh, like nice with us. Right, or not? Or are we outside the shop? Like we already left. Yeah, we're we're already oh, out the shop. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's just look for it then. <laughs> so what do we roll? Perception. Let's go perception. Unless you're one. asking people around, and actually, I'll, I I do that. Yeah. Make and you still have invis... to take magic technically. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. To... I mean, maybe, yeah. Make investigation check. In investigation? Yes. It's 20, but not natural. I'm going to call it a mat 20. A mat? Yeah, mathematical. <laughs> it's 15 plus 5. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, like a asking around, uh, it's not too hard. Like, you're, you, you don't have the, the tech of like the town. You're a bit like uh, direct and people are I'm a bit taking it back with uh, how you're asking and everything, but you're able to get your information. Uh, there's like a letter worker, maybe three letter streets. worker. <laughs> That's how I uh, ask people. Letter worker. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, uh, there, there. Uh, so if you guys want to go, it's not too hard to make your way there. Let's uh, make our way there. We can role play it or just skip with whatever you want to do. I I I, I don't think I want to role play that. <laughs> no, no, I, I think I think you want to role play that one. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Are we sure? Good, good evening, sir. It's uh, oh, you're doing the shop, or would, is that wouldn't fun? you say it's a nice, it's a glorious night for ship fishing, ain't it? 
fishing. For You're a, in sorry, the wrong place. For a letter working. Yeah, it's more, it's more like it. It's always a good day for letter working. Mm. What can I do for you? Uh, you don't happen to take some special orders in. I mean, that's the only thing I do. Perfect. <laughs> We're kind of looking for uh, some sort of special carriage I could carry, like a saddle. carrier, a, a saddle. saddle for halflings or gnomes on my back. What? Wait, say that again. Uh, oh, hold on, let, let me show you. I'll pick up Zook and I'll <laughs> kind of like hold him here. So his, his hands like, his, his head is a little bit higher than mine. So he sees and he kind of does like something if that will need... hold him that are not my hands. If you need, if you need measurements, now's the time to take them. Cause I need to be strapped securely. I have leather. And we <laughs> have the leather. The, the guys just burst into laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Clara, come here. Come here. You won't believe this. And there's like a, a girl, probably his wife or whatever, that comes in and like two kids. And they're like, what is it? This guy, he want me to create a ladder for this other guy on his back. Have you ever I'm, heard that? I'm Come guessing on. we. I'm guessing we get a discount for laughing right now because this is extremely rude. Wait, you guys are serious? Take the measurement. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's a bit late in the day for that much emotion will it be fine for you guys to come back tomorrow i need to just sleep on that i mean we could we could just make the order now you you take whatever you need we'll give you the letter and we'll come back later how's that hey, you yeah, chose to play it. yeah make a persuasion check yeah fern you're gonna help me out because you <laughs> Friend hasn't said anything. <laughs> That's nope, a nope. Matt 20. Now's your time. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I got a Matt, Matt 20. Mathematical. Really? Stop saying. Yes, I did. Stop <laughs> saying Matt. Mathematical. It's Matt. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> it's <laughs> Matt. Just keep, just listen to my voice. It's Matt. <laughs> Mathematical <laughs> 20. What? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to see your face again tomorrow. Let's just do it now. And he just starts like uh, it, taking it, out. It doesn't show, but it, so it's heavy let, for a guy. So let it's just really not that heavy. Go over it again. What exactly are so you need I, straps here and like he starts like making measurement. You start I like kind of exactly like a backpack what, without the pack part and kind of I like mean, a place where his foot would be. But he's but like, got to strap to it. At the I same need time. to be strapped to him so I can use my hands. But I also need not to fall, so I need like a security strap in the back of me. Just make it as secure as you think. Think of it as, as a way to carry your kids. I know you have kids. Or make it secure for them. But think for of the... it as a strap on for your wife. <laughs> Gonna cast sleep on Semat. <laughs> <laughs> Th thank you. <laughs> uh, what were what were you thinking for the base? Like just a piece of wood, or you want actual like uh, etrier? I have no idea what it is in English. Oh, like actual foot the New York guy. Um, I yeah, I'd go for foot holders. Yeah. Yeah, individual ones. Yeah. Yeah. And can can you reuse those? And I'll try to grab the well, kind of the leather armors we have spare. Can you reuse Wait. some of that leather? <laughs> are you are you not selling a leather armor strapping it for foot holds? Yeah, basically. If I can get a rebate on it, would be great.
So remove. It's not the best letter, but it should work in this case. Um, what? How? What's the difference in price if we were to get better letter than this? I want it sturdy. I mean, it, it's so, probably so going to be map, 10, 10 more golds for the material if I'm not using the. And how, how, how much does the whole, whole thing? What? Oh, is that ten well, gold for the whole thing? No, that would be extra ten. Ten. That's the price for the material in here is probably going to be around ten gold. Uh, the price for my work probably going to be another fifteen. So you're looking at twenty five gold. I could I could go for sturdy letter instead of cheap letter. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll 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 need I'll need some help on the cash down though. Well, right. I can I can cover it. Half or all? Well, it depends. No, I'm not gonna cover half. I'm already gonna be the one carrying your ass. So you're gonna cover the difference? <laughs> I can give you fifteen Doodle. out of twenty-five. Fifteen out of twenty-five means I'm paying more than it is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let's fine. go with 15. Yeah, spend, yep. spend whatever you have on uh, regen for your All spells. Right. All right, so make it as sturdy as you can with, with your letter, and uh, and uh, we'll pay you uh, we'll keep when the letter we get it. Over. Yeah, we, we get it half now. I'll give I'll give him 10 gold. All right, for so my... We... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That you have my word. This guy is gonna fall before your saddle. All right, that's. Good. I would uh, actually press X for doubt. Ah. Just don't listen to him. <laughs> Get on your work. Can we come back tomorrow? Do you think you'll be done? Pretty sure it's quite simple uh, in uh, in terms of materials and. Uh... Yeah. yeah. How, how, how long are you gonna? I need... I need to figure out the whole uh, blueprints. Like yeah, it's schematics. fully custom. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably going to take me. Imagine a baby, like you know. No, I, 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 yeah. I thank you. I, I got, I got the, the idea. A yeah. baby that, that throws fireball. Yeah, just imagine that lad it looking like a big sturdy guy and fireball, fireball one guy. Yeah. So you better make good work. Okay, oh, imagine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> P picture yourself, okay? He's on my back here, and both of his hands are kind of like in front of my face, like making like a freaking wall of fire. So I'm like a wa walking fire spitter. I hear you. I I hear you. I don't have the image. I I. It's. You just just get out. <laughs> I'll, I'll work so, on it. So two tomorrow, days. Two, days. Two, days. two days, two days. Let's go. All right, all right. We're good. Just, just get out. I kind of like the idea that it looked like a dragon. <laughs> ah, you know what? You're not far. That one's a good one. All right. Which out Tamara is gonna kill you? <laughs> <laughs> I am so ready right now to go pray to church right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, afraid. so, uh, anything else on the way, or you make you arrive at the church? If I can find any regent via vendor for for um, some spells, we can stop. But otherwise, I'm good. I would like uh, to find a dragon helmet. I'm actually not looking for anything magical. I just need like <laughs> a, a shot push. What did you say? I want to find a <laughs> dragon helmet. <laughs> What's a dragon helmet? Uh, there's a thing called a Dragon Helm. So I kind of have like cut, a big and... Cut the head of the dragon. He could put his hands like in the, the helm and it goes around. And it... Yeah, did you ever play Skyrim? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Also, uh, the, you're he doesn't have a PC, <laughs> so he probably never played in Skyrim. I've never well, played Skyrim. While we're in the area, I'm going to recast... Um, Wait, do I still have spells? Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't have yeah. a PC, but... Nah, right there. It's coming! You got the first step. That's good. Yeah. One of the biggest ones, too. 
Go uh, with detect magic while we go to church. Right. So, like I said, you you do you do uh, see on the way like some bookstore or like libraries, um, but nothing like there's no rate regions shop or anything that Man. is advertised as as is. Um, no one's selling charcoal, incense, and herbs. <laughs> it might be a bit uh, yeah, more like niche that you have mm -hmm. to ask around. Maybe, yeah. maybe at the ta uh, the, the church, mm -hmm. they could be able to point us in the right direction. Great. Oh, I I need to say that in the temple, which is not actually church, the church is kind of the organization. And, and the like talking is kind of frowned upon because the monks are honoring the dead. So just a heads up. All that right. shouldn't be a problem. There are rooms oh. specifically reserved for talking. Are they called chat rooms? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say something. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, with your detect magic, apart, like, maybe one guy that looked like a, an adventurer that had, um, like, a pendant that would ping and like one or two guards with like swords that would ping, you don't pick up any form of magic. All right. This town is dull. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a dumb town. So uh, you turn the corner uh, on a big wide street and you finally see the cathedral. It really looks like a... a like a good gothic style like cathedral that you would see like in france it's kind of black stone uh with uh like uh round kind of windows uh you can see shimmering light in it like there's uh, quite a few candles probably being uh, lit inside and yeah there's like a couple of like uh tall towers smaller ish uh, uh like like spike I, I think everyone kind of have the um the image in their head of like a purely got it cathedral i've uh have you guys ever wondered when they settled on the name of the town why didn't chase like always summer but they chose never winter in the negative. Mm. I don't know. Make a history check. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, can I roll on that? I'm kind of curious how the name of the town <laughs> came to be. I, went to roll I, I, I have I 11. Think I know anything. As a DM, I would open the wiki. <laughs> yeah, it's, I got 11. I, I think I, I kind of remember it. But vaguely, but I don't know. Do you have it in your in your head, so much? Nah, I, I never knew. So actually, oh, a good question. Never knew. Okay, it's something about like um. Uh, they were cultivating a, a type of plant, that would, uh, be kind of alive all year long. So, they kind of became famous, around that. And it was called Never Winter because it was never the winter. They they were always able to get some flowers or something like that. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it really is. Ah. Now you know. And, and I didn't even make you roll for it. <laughs> it was for the player only. Yeah. We, nice. we rolled anyway. For your ears only. 
All right, so yeah, you are in the vicinity uh, of the temple slash uh, cathedral. All right, um, I might need a bit of insight as to where to go next and what's the usual ritual because I don't really know. I'm guessing there's someone to go back to here. To turn in my quest. If you want, I can uh, give you some, uh, like, low chance. Low chance? <laughs> yeah, like, when you go to a temple, there's always a guy doing, like, um, There's none of that in this. <laughs> I can, I can, wait, I, I got one for you. Gregorian. <laughs> So, for for your question, like, um, I have some stuff in mind for like, uh, like you said, like it, it's really uh, quiet inside. There's a lot of candles being lit. There is like uh, usually people um, like uh, saying goodbye to their lost one. Like there, there might be. Uh, actual ceremonies going on, like with a body being exposed and some people just uh, around and uh, like taking in the lost and uh, like stuff like that. But I'm open to suggestion if you have anything in mind for like uh, the process. I had a name for the high priestess. Um, yeah, I'm going to see. I need her, I think. Question. That's the one give it, who gave me the quests. Uh, okay. you, you guys, do you mind? Since it's like a a quiet place, I would take some time to actually remove my chainmail before we go in. I know those things kind of tend to be like a little bit echoey. Well, I don't want to go around sounding like freaking jingle. Something. And I'll Bells. start removing my... Uh, I'll remove my chainmail. Thank you for that respect. So, so I, as I said, you guys make your your way in. Um, there, there's a lot of candles. Uh, there is like a small group of, of people on the side that seem to be gathered. Uh, it's really quiet. Um, there is people like just talking, but like in very, very low voice. Um, there is some like monks going around with like, like fully black robes. Um, there are like lighting candles, uh, moving stuff around. Um, there are kind of like uh, corridors that leads out of the, the main hall. Um, with uh, like other uh, people that kind of walks the, the corridor. So like Simat, you would kind of know your way around so you could lead them in uh, more like outside of the main hall uh, into like a uh, more co common area for the monks and stuff like that. I don't know if you want to go by yourself or if you're uh, like bringing the whole group along. Um. I'm yeah, it's will... to sit like in in the, the the main place itself. Like there is people, uh it's not like awkward or anything. There's place to sit that you can just uh take some time to uh, uh like think or uh, uh focus, stuff like that. I'm gonna uh, go. I tried to. I'm gonna go find a bench, some... and I'll try to take like a the the tinker pause. <laughs> I'm going to sit in a bench, and I'm going Sorry, to wait. I just, if... I just listen to the music because I want temple <laughs> music. Temple music is actually very very awesome. Um, 
<laughs> this music is is good. <laughs> <laughs> Zook, you're doing great. <laughs> I, I'm just going to sit in a way if I see some caster or some kind of higher, I don't know, priest or something that can enchant my, my armor. I'm just looking the right one. <laughs> if I found it. Okay. Make a perception check. Oh, come on. I'm just there. I wish I would stay outside, but yeah. <laughs> We're all idiots. <laughs> Kid is very uncomfortable. <laughs> 17. Uh, so yeah, looking around in the big, like, uh, the big common area, um, there doesn't seem to be much, like, differentiator between the monks like everyone that seems to be kind of in their place here have this black robe and nothing else really i don't see so someone that is enchanting things and doing some stuff so i'm uh, taking everyone uh to to the altar where I assume that there's candles that can be lit. Um, I point to them where the, don the don donation box is, where it says, uh, I don't know, five copper or something. And I... I five copper and I put it there. I, I think five copper and I put them in. Well, actually, yeah, I don't know what's the price. I guess five copper here. Is it's a price? So I put five coppers in, and I take a candle, and I go light one candle, and I, um, I will invite it to do the same. Um, it's actually, um, the candles themselves emanate like a kind of a scent, uh, a, a, a good scent, which is, I assume, is good. Um, based on all the sense, different sense of the high city that we've been smelling. Um, so we're just like gonna sit on, I guess a bench reserved for that or, um, and I, Sema's gonna pray for quite a while here. Um, so after all that is done, um, I'm going to go in, I don't know if there's like back chambers or something or is, like go see a monk and just like do the usual greeting and bowing and uh, i guess a monk may may or may not recognize me and go fetch no they do i go there or so like i said there uh, that's the common area that is more pu public there is uh like a couple of doors like in the back and on the sides that leads to more like um common rooms where like uh the monks can go there's like study area there's a kitchen there's like living quarters like all that stuff that would be needed for uh, an organ an organization to function uh, inside the cathedral itself uh and you know pretty much all that place so wherever you want to go if you want to go like to more of a do uh, i know if outside dining are room or, uh mm, you know and uh it's kind of frowned upon okay so i like, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to uh you know make the party understands it i'm i'll be uh, i'll be right back and uh as like look at tamara and 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 like And I'm, I, Simon is yeah. very, very, uh, like, um, respectful of the place and looks like very serious and in, you know, Zen at the same time. It's, 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 uh, you've might have seen him like this when he was in a deep place after 
someone died maybe or when he was doing his ceremonies he's never like that unless he's really deep into his you know in, in into his uh, zenitude if I'm in the moment the mother start to do this i just take a candle i turn it on and i start like praying i never do praying so i start like i go to the fulcrit the front of this church that i don't know how to call it uh, and i start to pray the altar the hotel oh, the, the, the tabarnak the tabarnak <laughs> and i start to pray yeah good so Samet, you make your way to the common room uh mm -hmm. on your way there you're greeted with uh some of the monks that you know uh you exchange some word uh quickly and like how how you've been uh if you've been successful if it was dangerous like all that stuff um some chit chat i report back in a low voice um do you ask around for like kind of the the leader the hype priestess yeah i go report back to the priestess okay uh they they, they tell you that uh, she's currently being uh like in our quarters like doing her own like kind of meditation that she should be out in uh like 20 minutes or something i asked for permission to invite my the my companions who were a key members of the success of my mission i can bring them here just wave in the back for tea <laughs> and reporting uh, yeah i mean uh you 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 let people that are currently here like no um everyone seems fine with it so uh you can bring right. them over i'm gonna fetch them mm -hmm. So you're currently like waiting in uh, the kitchen. Uh, it's very, it's quiet even in like the common area. Uh, there's some monks uh, at one table, like two, that are uh, like eating some bread, very uh, uh, kind of uh, minimalist meal. Uh, you guys make make your way. You take a table. Um, you can make some tea if there's anything you want to discuss or wait for. Um, I put my helmet on the table and, you know, I'll, um, I take the, I take, um, my mace, uh, and shield and I put them in, uh, in a, you know, a proper corner. Uh, on the, I guess, a sh maybe a shelf or a table that it's there. Um, and I I say, okay, so you guys, you gotta, I, uh, if you want anything, it can bring you anything here. Uh, there's just one thing. I would like you to separate yourselves from your weapon in signs of respect for the high priestess. What's her name? Kira. Kira? Yes. I see what you did there. <laughs> did I? Or maybe this Kira is the name in uh, in in Death Note. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even. Kill her. I didn't even like realize. realize. That's a good detail. <laughs> well, I that's don't... the best DM moments. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's why you say yes, yes. That's what I did. <laughs> it was <Absolutely>. all. In... <laughs> all talk. Um. So yeah, I, I asked everyone to uh, do the same with their weapons in sign of the uh, respect for High Priestess Kira. Can I keep my staff and just put the crossbow away? Do you have a crossbow? I do have a small crossbow. Yeah, staff's fine. All right. I'll put I wouldn't, the crossbow and... I wouldn't prevent you from your walking stick. 
Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to so put you guys... my um, uh, longbow and shield. I put my two swords in the longbow. Okay. Yeah, I had some side weapons as well, so I put that in. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys put all your weapon aside. And I have uh, a dagger too. I don't have it equipped. There. I yeah, still fine. have uh, my Warhammer and Talon with me. Because they're technically not on me, oh. but they're bound to myself. They're invisible. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know. Oh, Can we oh, see them? No, no, no. No, I have to summon them. Okay. Um, yeah, so you, you guys... I will serve off. tea for everyone. And you maybe, guys. Uh, like, very modest food. Like, um, maybe like just a uh, slice of flour, bread and cheese, something like flour that. Flour cookie. Yeah. No sugar, no salt. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever standard, just very modest. Like it's not an inn, it's not a tavern. It's very... right. right. So, uh, so yeah, you guys uh, put your weapon aside, enjoy a cup of tea. Um, and... You have to apologize. The monks here live uh, quite simply. So after a few minutes, oh. um, there is like a, a big figure that comes into the um, the the room. Uh, it's it's the same like big black robe. It's just I will stand up. She is very big. Uh, she's a half orc, in fact, and. Uh, the only distinguished uh, things that she has is that she has our um, holy symbol uh, attached to her neck. It's kind of a, a, a pendant. Um, and she she walks uh, toward you, Samet. I do the usual salutations, bowing. Walk, welcome back. I see I, you made I... Yes, I I um I successfully clean cl cleaned the uh the shrine in the castle uh Kragma. I was uh, infested with goblins and that's that's pretty much my, that's pretty much it. They just really really did a bad number on the shrine, um and those people helped me do it. So I present to you, uh this is uh did you... yeah, uh this is this is Cade. This is Zook. Uh, he's unpredictable, so don't do anything harsh or unusual, and you'll will be fine, probably. Um, for, this is Fern. Uh, he, if you want to hit on him, you you gotta be direct because he doesn't get a hint. And this Good. is Tamara. She was the most helpful, and uh, I bought her armor because of this. That's that's great. You got quite a few new friends on your adventure. So everyone, this is High Priestess Kira. She's it not actually a killer, it's just a name. Nice to meet you. It is really nice to meet all of you. Evening. I'm glad that, that you I, I'm very nervous. Samat. <laughs> I'm very glad that you helped Samat on his adventure. And that you, like, Form some balance with him. It is very important. And so, uh, yeah, we uh, we, we kind of discovered that the black spider was amongst the ones who were indirectly responsible for this. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you if you felt that the root of the problem was dealt with um actually no that's why we're here uh it all led back to here actually uh we did discover that 
I tell what I remember of the story about the bag black staff that was actually um, Glass staff. employed by the black the, the spider. It's, it's not black staff. It was uh, glass, glass staff. staff. Black staff is another piece. Yeah. <laughs> it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and and I don't omit any details of the story so far. Um, I I even <laughs> talked to her about, I say, um, <clears throat> and there was also a, you know, we kind of did the side quest and there was a dead girl. I think we helped her. Did we help her? Did we give her what she needed? Yeah, it was actually, a banshee she needed her. or a ghost. Yeah, we helped her. We helped her. We got so her released her, yeah. Yeah, so we released a spirit of a girl of the family of... It was a name to her family. It was kind of important. <coughs> well, it was given to us by Sister Garel. And... Uh... The girl was Agatha. Agatha. And, and she, we she had her the the, the heirloom, yeah. She wanted her heirloom. There was a priestess, uh, a priestess from the, uh, the goddess of the luck, I think, over there. And she just disappeared one day. I can't remember what happened to her. Uh, I think the... I never she saw her again. She asked you guys to um, ask a question to Agatha. Yeah. Yeah. She about... wanted to know something about oh. the cavern, oh. right? No, about it was a book. book. Yeah. The book of the mage. She wanted the book. Something important was in the book for her. It was the book of a necromancer. It was more of... Our, oh, our, it was a book of the or... necromancer. It was more a, a, a mission from our order to get w the location of the book. Oh, yeah. yeah. The book is now in the afterlife with the girl who we de delivered. Did I do the bad thing or the wrong, or the good thing? The good thing. No, no, no. The question actually was uh, she wanted to know what happened to a certain book of a necromancer called Spare Knot or something oh, like that. That's these yeah, these were not intertwined. These are two separate things. So the necromancer yep. hold the book. Do we have that book? No. Yes. That's not the book. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's not the same book. The but question you do have the book of the name. Yeah, we have the Grimoire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the Zoop has it. But Agatha, uh, the, the, the spirit, told us that uh, the book was traded to a necromancer from this, the necromancer's spear knot from the city, city of Irabor a hundred years ago. That was okay. the quest for her. Okay, so we delivered people. her by providing that air boot their yeah. room. So she probably and just left Fandolin for her hoarder and we found a necromancer in the tower and I tell her the name of the tower because I know it's a known location where it's a Old location. Owl Well. Old Owl Well. And oh. and uh yeah he was kind of experimenting on things and um actually I kinda need to talk to you in private about Guidance towards those situation, but we uh we got the book, so I guess it's a bonus. And I look at Zook. Well, did you did you find any information in that book? Uh, Zook, can I see the book, please? Will I get back? Will I get it back? I look at Kira. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll I give them the grimoire. I keep close. Thank to them. you, Zook. I know you want you want this book a lot, and you love it. 
It's a pleasure. So I, I take the book and I give it to Kira. Uh, we didn't kind of, we didn't find anything in the book, I think. Only a couple of spells. Yeah. And then she just like go through it. Uh, it's an old Crowmancer's book. I was really tempted to destroy it. Speed I thought that it, the decision would go to you. There is some research work in it. Stuff that talk about the energy and the life energy and that kind of stuff. I don't think there is any arm yet that can be done with this information. But I think you did a great job at like preventing any growth in that space. I will give it back, but I trust you, Samat, that uh, you will make sure that this small bit in of information is not used for stuff that we disregard as our, our organization. I will make sure of it. But your adventure is impressive. It's been quite the travel. It is, it is exactly what I was hoping for you. Thank you. I am, you. I'm quite lost as to what to do next. And I was wondering if you would have some insight. In and like I said earlier, I might need some in a, a, a slight moment in, alone with God, you, dude. if you would allow it for guidance. But I'm right so now, what's most urgent is to have more in, insight on, and if you have some on, on the, um, Black Spider organization. They killed a dwarf using a shape changer assassin. A dwarf with names XYZ, I can't remember. So I, I tell everything about that. Yeah. I tell everything about that and why we needed to protect the dwarf and the original quests that the party had. The, the map, I think that was lost. It was a map. Every, everything. I tell everything. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's my, um, it, it is a lot of information to unpack. Um, I have not heard of the Black Spider or the Rock Seekers. I have heard of uh, the Wave Echo Cave and the Legend around that um i would have to get some time alone to resource myself and pray on it see if i can glance any information but if you want to have uh, some time alone we can do that also thank you um so guys, I turn around with the group and say, guys, that that won't take long. You, you can basically do whatever you want. Would you recommend a good inn near that is trustworthy and has, has great drinks and food? We have the means to pay. Except me, I'm poor now. <laughs> <laughs> going to pay yeah. for you. I, I, I can help you a bit. If you need money, we don't really need much here but um the your favorite bar i'm pretty sure they have lodging so oh great you can you can send them there so you guys are uh, well we can meet back at the uh drunken tower bar sailor moon <laughs> sailor moon tower sailor bar moon. sailor moon cat drunken it has to be an animal name by the way, fun fact, the wizard was Bow Gentle. The book that she was looking for was from the wizard Bow Gentle. I found it back in my notes. Nice. I don't even have like the the book with me right now.
Alex is the note keeper in every oh, yeah. scenario. Yeah. Every time. Even in even as uh, as uh, uh, so, lead tricks. Yeah. Yeah. Even I forgot many names in my head. <laughs> I thought you were thinking of Jean Fourne. Jean Fourne! <laughs> Jean Fourne! Jean Fourne Four knows Four everything about Jean the puff pastry. <laughs> Jean Fourne was not taking notes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Jean Except Four. about the lady. Yeah, she was, was living the life. <laughs> yep. Alright, so are you guys going to the inn while Samat stays uh, behind a bit? Or you're all going and Samat, you're going to come back later? Uh, we can go. I'm staying here. Okay. Or you can choose to stay here and pray or whatever, help, do yeah, some I'm service, whatever you want. Follow me, everybody. I, uh, I do know I have the book way. back? Is the Grimoire in my possession now? Samad? Uh, did she give the book back? Uh, it, she gave it back to you. Oh, uh, do you, you want to, you know, keep it a day or two to study it? We have the means here, or should I keep it? Uh, you, you, you can have it. I, I don't think All there's right. much you can find. It's too, there you go, too low level. I have already a big Thank library. So. And remember, we got to be responsible about that. I already left. The lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Zook, I know the way. Zook, follow me. I know the way. Do you know the way? I know the way. Know the way. I know the way. I know the way. Let's go. He knows right. the way. So the rest of the group makes their way to the inn. Samat, you stay yes. behind. You wanted to talk more. More. Um, actually, it's, <laughs> so it, it, it might be she actually, she actually sits at the table. Um. I sit down to with make, her. Make it less like formal and. I, I more sit on open. her knees. <laughs> you <laughs> could, mommy you priestess. Could. <laughs> no, actually, I was uh, in, in front of her, um, and well, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I'm quite uncomfortable with this scenario, but I think with the, I'll let you judge. The decision I made towards that necromancer we met. Coast. We actually, in order to approach him, we actually deceived him into thinking we were um, also we were not judging him, and for in some miracle he lent me uh, as you know close and um, close enough that I didn't hesitate to kill his guts out uh, in a single shot. <clears throat> I'm wondering if the church's views on necromancy is as drastic as it should be. Or if I acted maybe in a way that was against Kalimvor's views. I think you better than anyone knows the views of Kalimbor on any type of magic that mess with the one that tries to sleep in peace. Mm -hmm. So I, I did the right thing then. Well, where is your dot dot dot? Doubt? Doubt. Where is your doubt coming uh, from? Actually, maybe it's in the gesture of radical punishment towards the beings that don't see things or see things differently. Maybe they don't know better. I just want to kill them, but I mean, is it the right way? Was there any doubt that he was doing those unlawful deeds oh no the guy had no doubt at all he was just doing this freely i mean no regrets was there any slight chance that you saw that you could have nope 
Stir, stir him in the right direction. Nope. Or maybe. Well, we talked a bit. He was just not seeing things the my way, and I killed him for that. So I guess that's why I know that the pad of evil is paved with difference in opinion, and war is born like that, you know? It's not that I regret it. We do the same thing again. But at which extent should I do that? Let's say he, the guy had friends and an organization, and should we start a war over that? We... We've been doing exactly that for centuries. You're right. That's exactly what we do. Is war on those who doesn't respect those that m mended respect. You're right. I think you did great. I don't think you should... Like, you need to be confident and you need to be sure before you act. This There's is one sure. last thing. If Oh, so sorry. But if you have no doubt, then your mind should be at peace. It is now. Thank you. And maybe one last thing. The necromancer, like, is all necromancy bad? What I mean is, there's a ne that necromancer had a, um, a scroll that on that scroll there was a spell that couldn't bring back the life of the dead. And I, the first thought I had was to burn it because it was necromancy. But by seeing the looks of my friends, we're not judging, I'm pretty sure. Um, they were, they were surprised, you know, and it's another thing that I saw that I could have used to help my friends, but it was necromancy. And maybe yeah, that will happen again, and maybe even my friends, who are more like family now, will not see things that way as well. How should I proceed with that? Is it a radical punishment again? Because they're using necromancy spells to do good? Should I have burned the scroll or used it to protect my friends to do the good? Or stand. What is dead should stay dead. You did. You you burn the scroll. Of that spell that could bring back the dead. Is that right? That's right. It's, it's, I destroyed it. That, my friend, is the biggest sign of fate that you could have given Canvar. What if my friends are using necromantic magic? Necromantic is all necromancy med. bad? Should we kill all necromancy and its users? Our our goal is really around keeping the dead at rest. Not all necromancy. Necromancy is a big a uh, circle of magic. It plays with the life essence, but not all of them plays with the essence of the dead. I see. I think I understand. So I shouldn't kill my friends if they use a, a chromantic spell. Aren't you using an incremency spell? <clears throat> Maybe. I, I think. And I think I used one to kill that necromancer. Oh, that... I see what you're talking about. I use it myself. I think that's where the guilt comes from. 
Thank you for making me understand. Thank and I step up and I bow deeply. If you need me for anything else, I'll be in town. Um, if you have any other missions, you know where to find me. Come see me tomorrow. Actually, I think you have proven your fate quite a bit. And I want to, and from what you're telling me, your adventure is far from complete. There's too many loose hands. Yeah, we and... got a whole campaign ahead of, ahead of us. And uh, yeah, just the the fate that you showed today, what what you've done, I think is far more uh, impressive than the quest that you completed. And I have something for you to help you finish this. And she goes in um, her uh, pockets and gives you uh, 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 Q angelic voices a small a small pendant a small pendant um, in your hands I will spend some time to pray see if I can find more information uh, for the next step but you were too kind my child you did good thank you thank you so much and bless you and she kind of touch touches the top of your head and just not like pat but like just place it for some time there we go <laughs> <laughs> just place it for some time like you, you just stand there for like a minute and then uh, she lets you go pop, pop. and I will walk away to join my friends and drink a lot <laughs> hooray I am party hooray. bitches I'm uh, um, you drunk. is the pendant identified already or is it do I have to yes um, I do I have um, to pay a diamond to know what it is? No. Oh, no. Um, so, unless you guys want to do anything in the inn, uh, we're just going to, like, um, end it here with, like, you guys going to bed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I clustered the whole uh, ending of this. Yeah, we've, no, been, no, it's we've been waiting for at least from since 8.30 yeah. for you to finish your scene. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think, we're gonna... one, I, I <laughs> I I think we're gonna. I swear. I think we're gonna end it here, and I'm gonna upload the the picture on Roll Twenty and give you that. But yeah. Yay! Yay! Good job, team! Yay. Yeah. Finally, we're, we're gonna have a tank. We we are talking Dragon. about. With a driver. This church, like, five, six <laughs> sessions ago. Like, a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You went? Oh, I almost forgot to turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you always, like, I have to go back to my church. I have to yeah. go back to my church, like, a lot. <laughs> Finally, mm -hmm. we are in the church. <laughs> Why yeah. isn't the page refreshing? So where you're sharing? Five. Yeah, F five, man. F five. I five. F five. Not high five. F o. I five. Could I five? We could do a webcam. I five. I don't know if I would I five people that have so many furries VR chat. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know I what you're talking about. With you guys in public <laughs> like that. I think it's just a, a rite of passage. It really is. My the first time in VR chat, I was in, uh, I was a mushroom man, which is a, a free given, uh, 
you you were intimidated. That mushroom was really scary. When I was yeah. a little avatar, I had to look up and I saw the big mushroom. It was yeah, it was so yeah. Cool. That that mushroom. I went into a random world. It was like I, I was lean in and people were like, "Dude, you want to buy mush?" And the guy, "What? What the fuck?" I said, "Come on, man. It's twenty bucks. You can take a bite right there. It's, it's right now. Come on." And then, and then some anime girls, police, dressed as police, came in. They said, we're arresting you. Dropped the portal to a, I don't know, a anime police station. Went in there. <laughs> they, they, took, yeah, they took pictures uh, of me in front of the, the uh, you know, the height screen and everything. And they sent me the website and everything. So, that, like, there's, they have literally a VR world where they... Arrest people wow. in different worlds, get them there, and then, yeah, yeah, that's oh, my that's first time. Amazing, in yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Internet guys, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow. people, like, oh, we gotta go mess around in public places. Yes. Yeah. What would you ask? Uh, uh, be careful on the public places because there are some. Odd person that start yeah, talking to you and yeah. try to pet you when you're a cat. I mean, I mean, to be without honest, asking permission. <laughs> yeah, they have. To oh ask. yeah, you did. You, Alex had a bad experience. <laughs> it wasn't me. Someone started petting him. No, it was it me. It was memory. I was beside. Yeah. Okay. I was like, issue with memory. Like everyone wanted to touch you I, and sell you drugs oh, and that's all that stuff. I don't rem I like I thought I thought it was I it was a faffoon. So... I I so thought <laughs> it do. was a faffoon I started petting me and was like, dude, chill. And then I look at his name, it's not Mr. Fafu. I'm like, <laughs> who the fuck are you? <laughs> Why am I being pet by a stranger right now? Stranger danger, right? Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is. yeah. So yeah, good times. But no, we, we need to do that again, definitely. We need to go in and jet in the jet world. Jet where you world. can fly jets. Oh is yeah, that, yeah. That works is just uh, with with the PC or just No, it's for everyone. It's for everyone. Okay. It's... Yeah, that's one over there if you <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I put it in roll 20. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I you gave it. I gave roll it to Semat. You mean D and E Beyond? No, Roll Twenty. No. I don't I'm have access to your. D &D. I'm in Roll Twenty right now. I don't I'm see not it. in Roll Twenty. Come on, guys, you're not I'm on not Roll Twenty. Well, I'm not right now. No. Well, okay. Uh, you gave it the... straight to okay. Back of oh, lunch. Stuff. I I see, but yeah, all I see is lantern. Oh, we need refresh. No, he, he gave it to Semat straight. I think. Ooh. Also, we don't have access to it. We don't have access. You guys can... That. Even if I click show players, you don't see it. Only what? I what? I think it's show him. What? What'd you get? Are you serious? What did you get? Oh, no, and it's only uncommon? Really? Is it better than the orb of direction? The glorified uh, okay. compass. <laughs> First of all, did, yes. the second we got it. the the orb of direction, everyone was like, "Oh, you know, it's fine, it's okay." I'll, I'll put it's it worth in this money. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's really it's not. so not. <laughs> but um, but I need to speak to Kadio because I've been reading about the orb of direction, and there's a thing about gnomes having orbs of direction. Yeah, we talked about it. Last. Am I, you, mentioned, it, you mentioned it. Yeah, so there is an attunement I could get to it, but it's it, I I think it's homebrewed or a different version, where yeah, if I'm attuned to it, I can uh, set up a point where wherever I am, and the um, orb of direction will start pointing that point instead of the north. Oh. Uh, Are we allowing that? A, a pointing okay. for what? You can uh, set the, his pawn point. I I can say a, a, a point. A waypoint, a basically. Beacon. It will always... Yeah, a beacon. So, basically, wherever I am at some point, I can do... Because it's a gnome thing. I could I could uh, say, okay, well, this is now where the uh, orb of oh, direction will be north. pointing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with it. You're fine with it? So, are we going... Yeah, okay. Okay. Noise. Noise. I, I put uh, I put the thing in the, in the chat. 
I don't know. Is it a, a below my halfling wow. turret? Yeah. So I can I can stabilize at the end of my turn. So that means like no death saving throws. Is it just once? That's so cool. And I regain double hit points when I'm healed. That's insane. No, 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 no. Not whenever I'm, when you I'm healed. Use whenever I point. roll a hit die to regain hit points. It means that yeah. I have double heal on in rests, basically. Short rest, yeah. Short rest. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing. Arigato gozaimasu. Cool. It was fun. A lot of chat. Chit chat. I was yeah. trying to find a way to put an encounter, but it's tricky. It was a shopping experience, so. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know if I will know what? what I want to tell him. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. yeah.